So I was reading that it took you 18 months to finish the first draft of this script. So I was wondering, is that just because you're super busy or was there a specific plot point that you found most challenging to crack? That's an inaccuracy, it was eight Ooh. months. Eight months. Good to know. Yeah. That's, um, that seemed, and now that seems fast all of a sudden. Right, and I do tend to write pretty fast. So it was eight months. I may, might be me mumbling or someone mishearing my words. But then after I, I did that pass, I, it's, it's constant, like, whittling and fine-tuning and tweaking. I'm, I'm always trying to find the even the more truth um, in the story. So I'm always tweaking it up until, even when I'm filming. What yeah. would you say is the biggest change from first draft to finished feature, whether it's something that needed a little more uh, working mm. in the script phase, or maybe a happy magic incident on set? The biggest change was the race of a particular person that has to do with the ending. That's what I'll say. And I can't like give okay. it too much, because then it'll give it away. But <laughs> that was a thing that we got to, suggestion from a phenomenal DP, uh, Bradford Young, who read it, who we were thinking was gonna huh. shoot it. He ultimately did not, but he's a friend of the family and we love him. Um, and he was like, what if this person were black um, that that meets them at their car after they wake up, after they go to the okay. shower? And I was like, huh. I was like, I gotta sit with that one. But I did, and I thought about it, and I was like, well, if that makes it more Complex. It makes it more interesting. I'm so impressed. And it was impressed. the best <laughs> note I could have gotten. I can't believe you were able to explain that to me, and I knew exactly what you were talking about. But you didn't spoil anything for anyone. Oh, good. So now everyone can enjoy that after nice. they see the movie too. Nice, nice. <laughs> I wanted to ask you a little bit about not using names in the script mm. too, and using more mm. uh, more descriptors to uh, convey your characters in oh, the script. Yeah. Is that something that applies to Queen and Slim specifically for you, or do you think that's something that could help screenwriting in general? Well, it's a thing I'm doing in this other script that I wrote too. Uh, it's other feature. I wrote my second feature after this and it's I don't know it's a space I'm in you know I just kind of feel like people don't use names in, in conversation um, and also too I feel like we are each other so it's an algorithm like if when you it's interesting because like you look at iconic characters like say Thelma and Louise people identify with them but they identify with Louise but and that's fine those are their names that's totally cool but to me I really wanted these people to represent black people <clears throat> so I was like you can give them your name they could be you, you know, and Queen and Slim could be any one of us. And and I really wanted to play with that convention. And when you do find out their names, it's it's very it's on purpose and it's very intentional mm -hmm. in the film. Um, and some people made they didn't realize like oh I didn't even know that I didn't know their name like I certainly didn't until the very end yeah. and then for I mean it, it hit me like a truck when I first heard it and usually wow. a name of a character doesn't have that kind of weight right which right. I I really appreciate thank that. you I'm glad it worked I mean yeah. it was definitely a risk um, I knew that uh, when I was writing it but I'm just grateful that Melina never blinked about it she was like okay and then also there was never a, a Harvey Keitel in our film there's no cop that you know sympathizes with the criminal but has to bring them to justice mm -hmm. I just, like, I don't want to do that. And, and But again, no one, they were like, okay. And so we take some risks in the movie as well. And, um, you know, we don't, you never know how critics are going to respond to that. Or they, but we just, I didn't care. I said, I want to do something different. It's good to take risks. It yeah. makes for a more interesting conversation. <laughs> I'm curious, though, you are an Emmy winning writer. This mm -hmm. is your first feature film. Yeah. You already said you're uh, working on your second one now. Yeah. Is there anything about this specific storytelling format and writing for it that surprised you? Uh, it is a heavy weight. It is, you know, I'm used to the 30 pages, you know, 60 pages, and I think it is, this is a marathon, you know, it takes a lot more stamina, you know, and it can be daunting, you know, when I'm doing a new pass on a freaking feature because I'm going through different things and I, I can't, and I'm a big person, I have to have all my stuff up on the wall and I'm looking at, I got an actual map here and I've got the character arcs there and all that kind of stuff and I'm just trying to keep track of everything and making sure I call back to this in this way or there's that. And there are a couple of things that kind of match, like where um, Goddess says one of the things that makes her feel happy is when Uncle Earl kisses her on the forehead and then you have Slim kissing Queen on the forehead in the car, or the the horse scene, the beautiful white horse is so peaceful, that and then might the riot. That my favorite the lines of the whole film. Oh wow! There's, there's something there's something about mm -hmm. that. There's something about someone just like taking a step back and recognizing like the simplest thing in their life that makes them happy, yeah. or just an act of human kindness that. I don't know. It always just touches me. I just and I, for me, it was also humanizing those people in that house, yeah. where you can easily look at them and go, you know, you can give a judgment. And I was like, but how can I humanize them? And so when you hear the things that make her happy, somebody in the audience is like, oh, I like nice robes at hotels. You know, I like this, and you kind of relate to yeah. a character that you ordinarily might have judged in the it first place. It makes you think of the little things in your life you should appreciate more. Very true. Yeah. Very true.